Sponge on the Run is the highly anticipated third theatrical release for the world's best animated sponge, and it's pretty hype. As the days go by, we're getting closer and closer to its premiere, whether that be in theaters or on demand, depending on how the pandemic goes. Either way, some more details about it were revealed in an Animation Magazine article, so let's talk about it. The man being interviewed is Tim Hill, a name you may not recognize immediately, but he's Sponge on the Run's director, and actually had a pretty big role in some of the earlier seasons of Spongebob. In fact, he met series creator Steven Hillenburg all the way back in the 90s when they were working on Rocco's Modern Life together. So yeah, this dude knows what he's doing. Tim, along with Hillenburg and many other Spongebob veterans, got together to work on a script for the third movie, eventually coming to the idea of Gary being kidnapped by King Poseidon. The director says the film's story is very relatable, as everyone can identify with losing a pet or a good friend. I think it has a great theme and is built as an homage to Steve Hillenburg. He notes, everyone comes together to help Spongebob because of all the things he's done for them. We thought in a way, it's about what this character has meant to people over the years. It's a celebration of creativity and humor, and by extension, it's an homage to what Steve gave to all of us during his lifetime. That's why I wanted to do the movie, because there was something deeply personal about it, which goes beyond just having a great story and memorable characters. That's actually really awesome. Not only is Sponge on the Run dedicated to the legendary man who brought Bikini Bottom into existence, but it's also being directed by one of his good friends. Tim and Hillenburg met when both of them were in their 20s, going to the theater together, and watching all kinds of fun stuff. Just knowing that the third movie is directed by someone close to Spongebob's creator, you gotta admit, that's pretty wholesome. Tim went into detail about how the actual production of the movie went, like how they were trying to find the perfect field to bring Spongebob into the realm of CG animation. During the development period for Sponge on the Run, they actually took a lot of old clips from the first movie, and then turned them into CG to see what worked and what didn't. By doing this, they were able to do something that looked similar to how we all knew Spongebob, but they also made the style fresh. One of the most important parts of Sponge on the Run's production surrounds the sense of humor, more specifically, the timing of the jokes. It's something that made the classic era of Spongebob feel so timeless, and everyone was working together to make sure this third movie followed a similar path. What's worth mentioning is that Micros Animation, the production company in charge, used all three first seasons to understand the timing techniques. Okay, that's awesome. They're using the absolute best seasons as reference material. One of the animation supervisors talked about dealing with comedy. We are used to moving everything, but we just had to accept that we don't move everything all the time. Tim Hill was relying on us to provide the comedy in our animation. He would give us a slight nudge, and we'd sit down and talk about how to make it as funny as possible. We were all so proud of working on this movie. It was such a special project, and every single one of us knew that this was an experience that we were all going to remember. It made us grow so much, and become better as animators, and as people. At the end of the day, I think Sponge on the Run should be a really fun watch. It's being directed by a guy who knew early Spongebob and Steven Hillenburg himself. This entire movie is a celebration of the world Hillenburg created, and we can look forward to it, knowing that the core heart of the show will play a role. Are you guys gonna check out the third Spongebob movie when it releases? Let's talk in the comments! But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.